Query formulas have literally changed the way that I develop apps, replacing complex and challenging relationship structures and unlocking insights to data that was previously siloed or painful to build reporting around. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. In this video, I'll be sharing the five query functions that have disrupted my app building for the better. I'll also be sharing additional information and resources based on my experience with them. With query functions and some query writing skills, you can forego creating complicated relationships and summary fields when needing to list count, or sum data across tables. Just a few of the possible uses include ranking or numbering records, grouping and ordering records, showing the top number of records, adding running totals, identifying duplicates, looking up values on another table, or looking up values on the same table, as well as aggregating data from multiple tables onto one table, plus many, many more. This is an area where it's time to get creative, my friends. In this video, I'll be covering five functions used in query formulas. These include get record to return or process information regarding a single specific record, get records to return or process information about a list of records, size to count the number of items returned in a list, sum values to sum a specific field from records returned in a list, get field values, which will allow us to get a list of values from a specific field from records returned in a list. And I'll also share answers to some frequently asked questions and notes from my experience using these functions. The get record function returns a single record for use with other functions to get the size, sum the values, or get the field values. Just know that if you're sizing or summing, you're doing so with just a single record in this case. Get record requires the target records record ID or RID and the table ID, also known as DBID, if the record is not on the same table as the query formula is being written. The format for get record is pretty straightforward. Get record with the RID or get record with the RID and the DBID. You can find that DBID in the URL for the table located just after the DB slash in the URL and just before the question mark. You can also use the table alias in place of the DBID the table alias is found in the advanced settings all the way at the bottom labeled as table alias. Let's look at an actual example for a formula. If we wanted record number 12, it would just be get record with the number 12. If we wanted that same record from a different table than the formula was being written on, we would include that DBID or the table alias. The get records function returns a list of records for use with other functions to size, sum values, or get field values. Get records requires a query string and the DBID if the record is not on the same table as the query formula. The format here is get records and the query, or get records, the query, and the DBID, or that table alias. Let's see that example in a formula. We've got get records and then our query. The query is enclosed in a set of double quotations because it is considered a text string. We've also got the option to include that DBID if the records we're querying are on another table. And because we are using a formula, we can also use field references within our query string. In this example, I'm breaking up the query string in order to insert the field reference for status. I didn't include the example with the table alias here, but I think you understand. If you want more information specifically about query writing, I suggest you check out the video Query Writing 101, where I explain in detail all of the components that go into writing these queries. 
Now the fun part. What do we do with the records once we get them? Well, we can use the size. Size returns the count of items in a list. It is used with that get records or it can be used with get record if you want simply a one or zero response. The format we begin first with our get records function, including the query and the DBID if it's on another table. But then to that, we're gonna add the size function. As a sort of side note or tip, that size function can also be used on multi-select text and user list fields in order to get a count of the number of items in that field. Kinda cool, huh? Let's take a look at an example for a formula. For this formula, we want to get the list of records that have a start date that has a field ID of 7 that is on or after the record start date, and then we want to get the count of the number of records returned in that list. We would start again with the get records and our query, which states that field ID 7 is on or after the start date from the record, and then outside of that, we'll include the size. This will allow us to get that numeric result of the count of records that match that query. For a demo of the size function, check out my video, Rank Records Using the Size Query Function. Some values will sum the values in a specified field within a record list. And again, we're gonna use this with get records. Could also be used with get record, but you would essentially just be returning that numeric result and not summing it since it's a single value. The format. Start with get records, the query, and the DBID, and then around that, we add our sum values function. But at the end, we also need to include the field ID that we're actually summing. In this example, we wanna get the list of records where the related project field, which has a field ID of 13, exactly matches the records related project value on the table with a table alias of DBID projects. And there we wanna sum the values in the amount field, which has a field ID of seven. We start with that get records function, including our query with our related project field reference and our DBID using the table alias. Around that, we're going to add the sum values function and include the field that we're actually summing from the values, say an amount field, which would be field ID seven in this case. All two results in a numeric value such as this. For a demo of sum values, I got you covered in running total with sum values query function. Last, we have the get field values function. This function returns a list of field values for a specified field in a multi-select text format also used with those get record or get records functions. It does require a record or record list and the field ID we wanna return from that list. The format here, just as before, we're gonna start with something like get record, which includes the record ID and DBID. And then around that, we add the get field values function and then append the field ID that we want returned. Similarly, with the get records function, we would be including the query and the DBID if it's on another table, and then wrapping that in our get field values function, and then including the field ID to get. In our example here, for the record with record ID number 22 on the table with this DBID, get the values from the start date field, which has a field ID of 16. We start with get record, the record ID of 22, the DB ID, or you could include the table alias, and then we wrap that in our get field values function and the field we wanna return, in this case, a date field. So here our result is a date, but mind you, this is a multi-select text field. So that date is contained within one of these little boxes and not an actual date field. Here's another example for the get field values. For the record list that exactly matches a status field with a field ID of seven with a value of in progress, get a list of values from the start date field, which has an FID of 16. Here we've got the get records function 
and our query, and then we're getting the value from field ID 16 for the list of records returned in that query. So here we get multiple records returned in that multi-select text format. In the latter part of my easy metrics table using formula queries video, I share examples using this get field values function. As an additional tip, these multi-select text lists use a format that includes space, semicolon, space as the separator or delimiter between the values, and we can use this to our advantage. Using a text formula or a rich text formula field rather than a multi-select text field, we can add to text in order to convert it and then search and replace around that get field values function to replace that delimiter between the values with line breaks. So here it is in a text field where we've converted it to text and now search and replace that space semicolon space with what is known as a new line character. Or if we're doing this in a rich text field, we would use the same thing, only instead of that backslash in, we're gonna use a break tag. So now our result, rather than being in a multi-select text format with those little pills, we'll get a nice ordered list such as this. And if you know HTML, you can do even more things to replace that semicolon with other HTML tags and formatting. Based on my experience so far, here are a few items of note. Cross app formulas are not currently supported. Sorting values returned in the get field values is not currently possible. There isn't a function or option to dedupe the values returned in a get field values list. And queries resulting in no records will produce a null or empty value. If you need a zero value to prevent the entire formula from being null, use the nz function with a value of zero. I share how to use the nz function in part of my video demo, rank records using the size query function. Please be sure to reference the notes and resources below for the latest updates to any of this information. That's all I have on these oh-so-fantastic formula query functions. Your next step is to check out one of those demo videos and try it out for yourself. If you liked this video, there's a whole lot more going on over at quickbasejunkie.com slash training. And when you're ready, I'll see you in the first lesson. If you found this video helpful, let me know. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.